Hello, my name is Vivian Dalglish. I'm a founder member of the Wood Hall Matters, and we're, we're here at the uh, Mobile Gathering where we've been coming for the years and years to demonstrate the craft to the public. We, we believe the Vikings brought it across to this country. They used to weave raw sheep's wool into hessian and uh, they made cushions for their, their long boats when they rode across the, uh, the North Sea. So there are two basic techniques. We have proggy technique, which is made with short strips and it's worked from the back and all we do is make a hole, poke the end through, make another hole, poke the other end through and pull them evenly on the other side. The next one goes through the same hole and we just continue like that until we have filled all the hessian. At one time it would all be wool and it was recycled fabric. When the clothes were finished they would have their Sunday best and their work clothes and then they would uh, be recycled and they went into the mat. So earlier mats were very dull and dark colours but they would usually have something bright in the centre. Um, just to, to brighten it up. Um, now we've got all sorts of fabrics and we can do all sorts of different things so we're not restricted to wool and mostly people make wall hangings these days um, so it doesn't matter but if you're making a mat for the floor wool fabric is still the best. In the olden days people used to make them as a, a means of getting an income they would use them to pay their rent and so they would sit at it probably on an evening. It was often a communal thing where people would come, everybody would come to the house, make a mat and then they would move on to the next house and, and make a mat. They were often made for Christmas, um, so they would, they would make a new mat for Christmas. And is it very difficult to learn? Not the problem. The hooky has is, is got a little bit more skill to it. The hooky technique is done with a long strip and it's done from the right side. So we put our hook in, pull it up and then just make a series of loops. So if you're making a pattern, you can get more detail with this technique because it's, it's more confined. The, uh, the proggy ones are shaggy, so if you've got to design it, it has to be quite old. Right. And it, it's a, a craft which uh, was dying out? Yes. Um, the Woodhorn matter started about 21 years ago and uh, at that time there was a revival because this craft was dying out. People have uh, moved on to, to factory made carpets and things like that. So this, this sort of thing died out. But um, there's been a number of groups um, keeping it alive and right. Woodhorn matters is one of those groups. How, how many members do you have and where do they come from? We have over 20 members, I think, um, and they, they come from all over the county, really, um, yes. And I believe you've got something special to celebrate your 21st anniversary. Yes, we're having a special exhibition in the Chantry in Morpeth uh, at the beginning of June to celebrate our 21st anniversary, and we're going to have mats from right through that time that have been made.